Hey guys, I hope this finds you safe and well at home. I'm making a video, my love. <laughs> a lot of you guys loved my zucchini walnut muffins. Thank you. This is a new version of that, but instead of zucchini, we're gonna add in blueberries. I love this recipe because it's mostly pantry items, frozen blueberries. The only thing you really need that aren't pantry items are two eggs, which eggs stay good in your fridge for like a month. So this is a cool quarantine cuisine because um, I know we're all shopping a lot less now. So this is a really quick, easy muffin recipe that you can whip up. We haven't even had breakfast yet. I'm gonna make these super quick and we're gonna have these for breakfast. So let me show you what we're gonna do. Okay, these are all of the dry ingredients, all the wet ingredients, I'll list them below. Forgot my whisk. Okay, so we have dry, wet ingredients, got our two eggs and our blueberries, super easy. We're gonna get our dry ingredients mixed. Now we're gonna get our wet ingredients all mixed. These are two whipped eggs. I always add the eggs at the end because the coconut oil solidifies at room temperature. So you have to melt it. I melt it in a pot. So then because it's, because it's not cold, I don't want to add eggs to something that could potentially cook them a little bit. So I like this to cool before I add the eggs in. Okay, get that all mixed up. Dry ingredients, all the wet ingredients mixed up. Now we're going to chop up about half a cup of walnuts. I love walnuts. They're really nutritious, really good brain food. They even look like little brains. This is also totally optional. You don't have to use these. I just like them for the nutrients and the extra crunch that it adds. So we want about half a cup of this. Okay, that's looking really good. Okay, so now let's mix these together. Wet ingredients into the dry. Let's get it all stirred up here. I love this recipe because it's really quick. And also, if you have young kids, you can have them you know, my daughter lined the muffin tin. So while I was measuring everything out and the stuff that she could potentially like, you know, make a mess with, but so she can still be cooking with me, this is a really cool little thing you can give them to do so that they can be involved in the cooking process. Okay, so this is mixed together. You don't want to over mix it. Now we're going to fold in our frozen blueberries, half a cup. And I just want half a cup of these. So let me just, oh, look at that. That's literally a half a cup. Perfect. Look at that. Huh. Okay, great. We're going to mix this all together. And then we're going to pop this into our muffin tins. Preheat your oven to 350. And again, you don't really want to over mix. So you really uh, kind of want to make you're mixing here purposeful, so you don't have to end up really mixing it a ton. So when you do, try to really get in there and make them a good, a good mix. So you don't have to do it too much. If you over mix, it just changes the consistency. So now let's fill our muffin tins. So again, make sure your oven's preheating to 350 because these are going to go in in a couple, a uh, couple minutes here. And if you do freeze them, just leave them on the counter overnight if you want to eat them the next morning. And then in the morning, I love popping them into the oven at about, at about 250 degrees for 10 minutes. And they're awesome. But honestly, these don't even make it to the freezer because we eat them so quickly. Okay, so now once you have all the muffin tins full, just go back and even them out with the additional batter. That might be a little too much there. The other thing I like about this recipe is that to sweeten it, I use some organic maple syrup and honey and no actual, you know, refined sugar, which is nice. And it works really well with this. Uh-oh. 
All right, we're going to pause for a second. I'm feeling better. Okay, good, my love. Okay, everything's all good. So, these are ready to go in the oven. Okay, I'm going to pop them in, set a timer for 13 minutes, and then test it with a toothpick. But usually, definitely by 15 minutes they'll be cooked. Let's check them at 13. Okay, so I actually checked these at 13 minutes and they weren't done. So it's been 15 and these are looking really good now. Okay, those look great. Okay, great. Okay, so our muffins are done. Look at how beautiful these are. They're perfect. These are perfect. I like using these little paper cups, uh, paper cups. You, to no, look, 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 look. you totally don't have to, but we like using these and my daughter likes putting them into the muffin tins. Um, and it just makes them easier to transport. Perfectly golden brown. Look at that. Yay. Okay. So now we're going to let these cool and then we're going to eat them for breakfast. I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you know when I put up a new one. And I will see you guys next time. Stay safe out there. There's a fly. I know there's a fly. Yeah, look at you. You're so cute.